I'm Elizabeth Larkin with Balanced Body Pilates. So many of my clients are deconditioned, the older adult um, who has come to Pilates to improve their ability for activities of daily living. I found that not all of those clients are comfortable in supine on the carriage, so I wanted to create a series of movement sequences that would enable these clients to be upright, vertical, in their sitting, and still focus on um, leg strength and the appropriate alignment of their hip, knees, ankles, and feet. I start with the very lightest spring, just the yellow spring, and the appropriate amount of uh, support underneath the pelvis so the hip joints are higher than the knee. And this will enable the client to be uh, in the neutral pelvis, neutral spine posture with the sternum directly above the pubic bone. Many of these clients tend to have um, thoracic kyphosis, a quite an enhanced thoracic kyphosis, and this movement material is useful for their core control and balance in a seated position. So first, with the palms on the thighs, inhale to slide back, that facilitates their sternum lift, exhale to come forward, drawing the knees towards the hip joint giving both legs a turn together, and then each leg gets a turn by itself. Now, of course, you plant the sole of the foot on a carpet or the floor or a sticky mat here, and you can add unstable surfaces later. Now, turning to face the side of the carriage, we'll put this arc in a different position for sitting here, and it would be one leg at a time presses out to knee extension and knee flexion. Exhale to slide out, inhale to come forth. Exhale to slide. Next, we'll give a turn for the um, inner aspect of this leg for the adductors here. Plant the sole of the big toe and glide over to one side. Mm -hmm. Pull and go. Mm -hmm. This is very strengthening for the deep front line, the adductors here. And here I am perched on a, a curved surface. I'd be better off on a steady box. Now, to face the back of the carriage, let's take the shoulder rests off. And sitting on the arc, right about so, Inhale to draw forward, exhale to come back. Now the spring is resisting knee flexion and assisting knee extension, the exact opposite that we had before, in which it, re it assisted knee flexion and resisted knee extension. Each leg gets a turn by itself, focusing on the hamstrings here. Again, you could exhale when you come forth, I recommend inhalation because that will help the client sit up tall. To get the inner thigh of the new leg, turn to the opposite side, change your sitting box, plant your sitting bones, and plant the sole of your foot. And then now this leg gets a turn to push off. Exhale to press. Inhale to slide. Exhale to press. Inhale to slide. There you have sort of a trip around the knee with hip flexion, with knee flexion, knee extension, and the ab and adduction. See you next time. Bye-bye.